Shalom, my name is Dror Moshe Kasuto and I wanted to speak with you a little bit about this amazing concept of tshuva. It's written that Am Yisrael cannot be redeemed in no other way except of through tshuva and when they are doing tshuva, when they're coming back to Hashem, immediately they are being redeemed. Now, in what way we should do tshuva? tshuva. The most simple way is written and described by the Rambam, the Holy Rambam, in the book of his Halachot that is guiding us exactly, Mitzvah Tshuva, the obligation of doing Tshuva. And over there, the Mitzvah is very simple to read and to understand. The person must first of all remember what he did, and every person knows very easily what he did and what are the things that he feels bad with and regret for and then you need to just in your own language to say simple words of kind of confession just telling the creator in your own language what you've done so for an example if you looked on something that is not yours and you feel bad about doing that so you just need to stand in front of the king of all king means to go to a place that you'll feel comfortable to a quiet place in your own backyard your porch your house whatever your room your office your car and just open your heart in front of the creator and tell him just like that you know father in heaven today i did something that i feel very bad about i looked to places that i was not supposed to i looked at things that i was not things that are not mine and, and I kind of desired them, I like hoped for those things to be mine and it wasn't proper, it wasn't the right way of thinking. After you just mentioned the sin itself and you expressed to the Creator the fact that you were not happy with what that you've done and that you um, like regret on that, you just need to ask for forgiveness and you just say to the Creator, I feel bad about doing that. It was not my will. I don't want to do that. It's not my path. It's not my my way. I don't believe that that's how I should spend my days, my time. I I want to be better. Please help me not to sin, not to not to not to look at things that are not belongs to me. And on that way, in that path, we can and we should review all of our days and all of our nights, all of our thoughts and all of our actions. We must understand that there is an eye that is open and looking and checking our actions and we also must remember that the creator he's the one that gave us that opportunity to do tshuva means that he gave us this opportunity for a second chance to fix what that we sinned what that we ruined and spoiled so when you come to confess you don't need to confess in front of a cruel leader that might punish you whatever like that Ah, that that judge, that same one that you are coming to confess, uh, confess in front, is that one that gave you that opportunity that by apologizing, by expressing the regret, the bad feeling that you have, you'll be redeemed, it will be atoned, it will be erased and, and forgiven. And if you'll do it out of love, it will be count as your merits, your rights, it's going to be your zchuyot. And this is a great opportunity for every person and no one can really say that he's not able to do that because to go out for two, three, five minutes and to talk about something that is stuck in your heart and just like say to Hashem, Father in heaven, like I feel bad, I, I waste so many hours today, I didn't learn, I was able to learn a little bit more, I was able to pray with more intention, like simple words like that can bring you to such a an uplifting place and to such an amazing place of inspiration such a deep connection with the Creator and also in the end the Rambam is saying that in the end of that process of Tshuva the Rambam is saying that the person must take except on himself not to sin anymore but we know that it's very hard for us to say from now on I'll never be angry again from now on I'll never look to the sides anymore like you're not really able to keep that word. It's it's not it's not really proper to promise something like that when you know that you're not able to keep. So what am I doing? I found a very nice advice. I'm just praying for the Creator to help me. Like that it's written that a person cannot overpower his evil inclination unless the Creator will help him. 
So I'm asking for help. I tell Hashem, look, I know I'm not able to overpower my evil inclination, my weaknesses, my fears, my anxieties on my own. Like when I feel lost and trapped and pressure all over me, I don't know what to do with myself. Like I'm getting stressed. So can you please help me not to fall to that place anymore? Can you please help me and assist me? never to sin and never to crime and never to fail in those things can you please give me the power the inner energy to be stronger than I was and not to fail and not to do those things anymore and then I th I feel I like usually feel much much better with with myself after completing this process of tshuva remembering the sin explaining and opening it and not hiding it anymore from the Creator apologizing, expressing my regret for that sin, and then asking for the future to have a better one, to have a better future, and to be inspired by the Creator to walk in His path in, in a greater way, in a nicer way, in a cleaner way, with a happy heart and a wishing soul. And I bless you all to take that advice and to be successful. And may the Creator bless us all as one, that all of our prayers will be accepted in no time. Amen. Thank you.